All right, so I uh, picked up a set of disc brakes for the bus, and if you're looking at these, before you buy these, call Eddie and Dave's Garage and tell him that you talked to Mike F. Channel. You're going to get a special price that he can't even put anywhere on the internet. Um, you can't beat it, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. But I'm just going to tell you right now, especially you can't beat it. Um, and I don't get any part of that. I don't get stuff for free. I'm not a, a I don't get sponsored by these people. Um, I'm just turning you guys on to the same, to a deal that I get. Um, you know, I get special prices usually on stuff because I've been buying a lot of volume. It has nothing to do with YouTube. Uh, and, but, you know, in some places, and so not, not every, not everything. I, Wolfsburg West stuff, I pay just like everybody else says. There's no deal. Um, but, I'm going to tell you guys, if you're looking at these disc brakes real quick, uh, these kits, this is for the 64 to 70 bus, um, call Andy and Dave's Garage first. He, he's going to give you a special deal, if you, especially if you tell him Mike F and Garage or Mike F Channel called, told you about it. Like I said, there's a special deal for you. Yeah, I turn you guys on the deals. I don't need the money. I'm not looking at anything that way. I'm not like other YouTubers that are trying to get money out of you know everybody else. Um, I make a little bit on YouTube, but it's not really my main source of income. So, and I'm almost retired now anyway. So let's take a look inside. Let's see what's in here. All right, so let's take a look inside here. Get these things opened up. And I just like to let, let everybody know that I do not get money from any of these people. Not yet. I mean, I don't know. There might be some day that I will, and I, I don't ask for it. Because, you know, honestly, there isn't that much markup. Not, not as much markup as you guys think in VW parts, and it seems like the only place making any money is like the people that manufacture stuff. So, got lots of peanuts. So, we got wheel studs like the other one. I guess that's if you're going to run wheels. The thing that's cool about this, pardon the noise from the fan, it's too hot in here. So, I got to turn that, you know, I got to keep that thing running. Maybe I'll turn it down just a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'll move that away just so you guys can hear me. But uh, we've got bolts. Got a lot of no more bolts. Isn't that good? Yeah. I guess they're just regular bolts. Not too fancy. Hold on, let me get a, piece, a trash can here. Yeah, it's first look at these. I've heard these are really good. The thing about these that are really cool, I know, is they have a dual reservoir master. Um, and for the price, you really can't go wrong with that. So all the peanuts, get them out of here and let's take a look. Let's see if I can turn this up just a little bit. Set you guys a little higher. There we go. All right. So put it here. Oh, I got lug nuts. Why do they have lug nuts in here? The wheel studs. Yeah, I guess if you're gonna run those, I'm, do you need to run wheel studs? You can. Maybe they do that because they're worried about you stripping them out, stripping the drums, the, the rotors out. Three sales. Let's look, see, let's, let's look how they're made or whatever. What kind of, uh, generic. They're alright. They'll, they'll work. If you're bearings. KML made in China, of course. They're not Timkins or anything like that. Just basic generic bearings. I've, I, I've run these a lot of times and they, are, they seem to be okay. You know, on my trailers and stuff like that, I usually have those. Some of my cars. I haven't had any major issues with bearing, bearing failure yet. Let's take a look here. What's this? Oh, Reservoir Master. So it's got the dual Reservoir Master with both outlets. It actually feels like pretty thick. It doesn't feel like a really cheaply made one. You know, some of them are. So yeah, if you're looking at the AC Industries brake kit, like I said, do yourself a favor and call any Dave's Garage. Like I said, I just told him, say, look, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Can you give the guys a special on it? And he goes, yeah, I'll give them. All, they'll be. It'll be cheaper than anywhere you can go, especially if you're local. Southern California. Eddie, Eddie's in Dave's Garage. Eddie Collins. Good friend of mine, done it for years. 
I don't get anything for free from Eddie. I don't get anything really discounted. A lot of some things I do, but not very often. His prices are so cheap that there's no markup. Oh, great. Hopefully these are that biodegradable peanuts. Probably are, yeah. Let's see. Well, this is just a. Take a look here. What's this? We're gonna be sticking around. Stick around. You're gonna get to see us put this on a little bit. I'm just doing this for you guys that you might have, might want to order these and you want to know what it's like, what the quality's like. This is a nice steel. If you can just see the pictures on the internet, this is a nice heavy steel bracket and the thing you know I guess this is really narrow because it's a it's a zero offset uh, you know it's all it's all Chinese stuff I'm sure as most things are even the German stuff I've been getting lately is a little China. German Chinese and really super expensive and really no better than the other stuff I've been getting it's a little so, town in China called Germany yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a town in China, China called Germany. Yeah. Well, the calipers look pretty good. I mean, like I said, they look like made in China type thing, but they look like they're substantial. They're heavy. They got pretty good casting look in there. It looks like it's hardened cast cast iron. They're heavy. They're not aluminum. It's calipers. You got your other, this is the other spacer or the other copper mouth, I'm sure. We already know what that is. They look pretty good though. I mean, the empty ones didn't look bad either for the other bus, except it just didn't have a dual reservoir master. And this one does, and it's a zero offset. The other ones are about a half inch wider. The thing that's cool is these actually fit, you know, your stock wheels, 14s, and that's the thing that that's the that's the reason I get I got these they have other disc brake kits that don't so that's something to be aware of so the other caliper looks good the same as the other Let's see yeah it looks pretty good I mean it's typical Chinese casting I don't know what they mirrored these off of these don't look like bay window do they they kind of do a little bit huh? Not quite though. They're actually, we're looking to get the the dual bleeders. It's like so it's a, a right and left. It's like a Jetta caliper. Yeah, you're gonna need to know. That's something you're gonna need to know when you bleed these. What do you want? The bleed that's on the top. Bleed the, well, it depends where they're at. You bleed from the top. You bleed from the top. Yeah. So, so look, they have a the dual bleeders on them. So when you go to put these on, make sure you bleed the right one. If you bleed the bottom one, you're supposed to be bleeding the top one. You know, it's usually the top one on each side. You believe me? If you don't do it right, you're gonna have air in your lines. Alright, so uh, anyway, that's about it here for the disc brake kit. Um, like I said, remember, remember what I told you guys? I, I don't get any part of it. I'm just doing it for you guys. So, you know, I make enough money on my little, little bit of my YouTube and my other business stuff. I make really good money. I don't need to make money off of you guys any other way. Um, and I don't need to make any money from Eddie and Dave's. He's, you know, he's a really good guy and he's been you know doing it people right for a long time and so I just want to help him out as, as well as um, he's gonna help you guys out so that's a really cool part of it you guys can get a special price and uh, and he can get the business so two things good you know that's what I figured so anyway all right talk to you guys in the next video please like share and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the install on these we already got the bus on the rack right now Gonna take it apart. We're just uh, doing the tie rod ends. We're a little loose. Had some noise going on. The master was leaking on this thing, so I knew I, I either knew it was one of the front wheel cylinders of the master, and I saw a drip on the ground, and I went, "Oh, it's the master." And so I figured I'm gonna upgrade it uh, to the uh, dual reservoir. So I figured. I